G'day United Legendary Voices. I just wanted to share some tips about water and, and ways that I normally do to charge the water up, especially considering that our bodies are made up of you know 60-70% water. And then we want to make sure that the water we're drinking or consuming into our bodies is of the best quality that we can do at any moment in time. Um, my personal favourite is always going to the spring collecting my own wild spring water, but I know that most of us around the world are all in restrictions, and so that's making it a little bit difficult, so we may be relying on other sources such as bottled water and things like that, that may have been traumatized in its transport to get to us, probably radiated to an extent as well to control bugs and pests and things like that, and would be sitting in bottles and you know being a bit stagnant. So we just wanna give it a bit of oomph to sort of charge that up. But if you still can get to a spring, I do have a lot of videos um, on the Springwater Greg channel and they're under, um, there's a couple of videos there for Sydney and Melbourne. So if you get a chance, check those out. But otherwise, there is a global website and it's called findaspring.com. And if you go on findaspring.com and try and look up the springs that are available as close to your local area, then that may be your opportunity to go and harvest your own spring water as well. Um, it's a good fun activity to do and you know I did share some of my adventures in previous videos. Um, one thing though to sort of mention over and above spring water I prefer to actually get structured water and structured water when I'm saying that that means the structure of the water that's come through fruits and vegetables and in particular vegetables but that also includes juices as well. When you think that the fruits and vegetables have been growing outside, they've been exposed to the elements, they've been getting you know rainwater, um, the soil quality and you know just the fact that they've you know been pulling water up just like a spring would as well into their leaves and into their stems until they become fruit. Um, there's actually a lot of benefit and value in exploring um, just upping the ante on the fruits and vegetables that you're consuming and the juices from those as well because of the structural benefits. So obviously they're going to have a lot more minerals and vitamins and things like that that you can get and that's um, probably the most important more than spring water or water itself because of the fact that it's, it's already alive and once you consume it your body actually knows what to do with it. Coconut water in particular is one of my personal favorites and um, what I like about that most is the electrolytes that come with it and so you know we don't need those rubbish um, sugary drinks that have been sold to us as electrolytes when we can get natural ones and especially if you can go and crack open your own coconuts um, you know that's a really really great source of electrolytes for the body. Um, Neil Pascoe is also known as Nate Mate. He's um, actually a distributor of some water filter products that actually can structure um, the water. And um, the company that he looks after is called Natural Action Technology. So I think he's more of a reseller. And he's got a particular device that is just really, really simple. It's already got a vortex sort of mechanism built into it and you literally just pour the water into that and then into a bottle and the device is portable that you can take it anywhere. They're not cheap and that's the reason why I haven't got one at the moment but I do intend on getting one soon um, when I can afford it. But um, it's just a really good device that you can take anywhere. It fits into a lunchbox or a backpack and um, whenever you want to charge up your water you just use that and you'll have it have it structured by following the process that he offers. Um, I'll send, I'll attach a link to his website for that for anybody that's interested in exploring that further. Um, putting your water out into the moonlight as well is a really good way, especially on a full moon, just to um, wake up the water. Um, the energies of the full moon are quite intense and when you leave the water bottles out in the moonlight overnight that's um, a really good way of charging up water that's just been sitting for a little while. Um, one of the um, other things that I like to use for water is just putting it into the mine glass jars and um, I put those out into the sunlight for an hour um, and by doing that 
that allows the beneficial UV rays and the violet rays to go into the water and that gives it a bit more um, charge as well so that's another technique to use and even with this water if you have a look at it you'll see that I've got a bit of a hippie sort of orm sticker on there um, that's inspired by the work of Dr. Masaru Omoto who he was a Japanese um, specialist who studied water specifically and what he would do was he would freeze vials of water from different parts of the world or if they had you know symbols on them or words or play music to them and then he would look at the crystals of that water under a microscope and photograph them and in particular he's probably better known for the vials that he did for the words love and gratitude if you get a chance to look those up um, you'd be amazed at what you see and then on the contrary if you did something negative um, or said something negative had a negative thought towards water um, the water vials wouldn't produce beautiful crystals that'd be more putrid looking so it was um, very very interesting um, information that he did and I've put a lot of um, symbols and things like that on my waters as a result of that just to sort of give them a bit more life life force energy you can also based on what Dr. Amato was saying um, you can also you know get your favorite book um, especially if it's a high vibrational book like this particular one it's called um, Amazing Grace by Nick Good and David Avocado Wolf and you can actually get a copy of this um, online by just googling um, Amazing Grace audio book by Nick Good and you can download it in audio format for free as well it's very worthwhile listening to that especially with what's going on around the world at the moment so anybody who's spiritually aligned I think would really enjoy that book but I like to put the um, my water on top of that book or even on a bookshelf so it can absorb sort of that vibe as well since um, Dr. Amato has proven that water does respond to the environment. VitaJewel is another product who, um, what their product does is it actually um, infuses the essence of or the vibration of um, gemstones such as rose quartz and um, other other gemstones. I've got one that I, I've we've got here in our household, and this one's just the rose quartz one. And the idea of this is to put the there's a vial on there with the um, gemstones in there, and by pouring your water into this jar and leaving it for seven minutes, the infusions will happen there where you, it becomes gem water, and. Um, yeah, it's just a, another good way of charging up your water in a different way. I also use um, amethysts and the black tourmaline, um, but you can either get them pre-made as in these type of things, and VitaJewel Australia is the company that provides those, um, but it was originally, I think, a southern German company is, are the original founders. And um, yeah, they've got different combinations of gem waters that you can make as well. Um, and they actually don't look too bad as um, water bottles as well and they're made out of a pretty sturdy um, glass as well. And yeah, one of the other things um, to do with the waters is just to vortex the water and by vortexing it you're rotating it to the right uh, anti-clockwise for about a minute then by, um, and then vigorously rotating it anti-clockwise, shaking it up and down and giving it a tap. And if you do that a few times, that really brings the water to life as well and stops it from having that stag stag stagnation that it normally has. And I mean, you've got to think that when water's traveling in the taps and things like that, it's not really going anywhere. It's going through these really harsh zigzags and that's quite traumatizing to water. So I'll just give a, a short demonstration of this, but really the idea of it is to do the rotations um, over the course of a minute each way. And you can do it once, twice, three times, um, depending on what, how you feel on the day. And um, it's actually, especially when you're doing it in glass, it is um, a pretty good exercise as well if you're doing it the right way. So anyway, I'll just demonstrate it and then I'll stop when I've started spiraling it just so you can see the spiral in the water as well. So it gives you an idea of how that works. So I'm just doing it now. It's a clockwise direction. 
and you can just see there. And then anti-clockwise. And you should be doing this a minute each way. And then shake up and down. And then give it a tap to wake it up. And then you just repeat the process as many times as you feel like. But even if you do it once, it's still better than having the water sitting there stagnant. And then it's right to go. One of the other parts of the um, Dr. Amato work as well is just putting stickers that you can get literally from any sort of alternative shop. Um, these are supposed to be for windows, but you know, these sort of stickers um, do the same sort of thing as what Dr. Amato was doing when he was putting the words love and gratitude or any other type of words on videos, uh, on the water, water jars and things like that. So um, water does respond, water is, you know, 60-70% of our body and if we want to control and have an influence on what we're putting into our bodies, water is one of the best um, ways of doing that. Anyway, I thought I'd just leave those with you um, to see how you go and hopefully um, you've got a few tips there and if you've got any suggestions or comments feel free to put that under this video. Um, so that way you can sh we can share that with everybody else that's watching it as well. So I hope to see you at the spring soon and until then um, we'll speak soon.